guys. Thank you. It's so quiet in here. I feel like it's so quiet in here. We're all like just working. Oh person. my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Dude, that was a crazy fight. When Cody like dropped and came up for the flying knee. Let me give my hair a little zhuzh. <laughs> <laughs> you ever feel, you ever, have you ever felt like doing that in a fight? And just like, all right, just going crazy and yeah, throwing just down. Like, just like from the hips. You know, um. Like, or was that just? Is that even, is, I don't know. Is that just a different? I fight? have been in those situations, but. I've been in those situations where it's kind of like I was down in the scorecards and I was like, whatever, F it, and just go, you know? Yeah. Um, but, uh, I don't know. Even in, like, if you were in the gym just to spar for fun, can you, is that even like... I, I do get that way sometimes, but I don't think I operate the best when I'm like that, like <laughs> overly emotional, you know? Um, I don't know. Cody's just crazy. <laughs> just likes to throw down. Scares me. But that's what people love to see, you know? Maybe one of these days. Uh oh. Got the selfie stick over here. How is it up being here during the fight weekend, not having a fight? Do you like doing this? Is it kind of like, hey, I don't have to, you know, kind of enjoy it a little bit just because there's no fight? It's weird because I, I, I'm not fighting this weekend, but I do have a fight on the horizon. So, um, you know, I'm not partying or anything like that. I'm still dieting. I'm still training. But it's actually nice. It's nice to come up here, experience the butterflies, come out here to support my teammates, Diego and John. And um, not too far away from home, all my coaches are here, so we still get good training in. Um, and it's, it's a little break mid-camp and I, I don't know, I think it's just, it's nice to be around other fighters, feel the vibe and, and catch those good vibes, you know. How's your camp been so far for Carolina? Really good. My camp has been really good. Um, we've been wanting to fight Carolina. I think that, um, you know, she's fought the best of the best and uh, a fight against her is going to get me where I need to, to be. To, to fight for the belt, which is my ultimate goal. So um, I'm very excited. I, I know um, I have a lot on my hands. And um, she's just as um, well-rounded and creative as me. And um, so I'm looking forward to the fight. You're looking forward to being on the ESPN card? Yes, I am. It, it's, a, you know, it, it's a new year, um, new experiences. And for sure, ESPN, that's, it's a big deal. Have you, have you, I just want to ask if you think doing any commentary yeah, I would love to. I would definitely love to get behind the desk. I think it's something that is beneficial for me as a fighter because um, I'm forced to break down fighters outside of my weight class, and I think that helps. When, when you have to analyze other fighters and break their skills down, um, it helps you kind of break your own skills down and, and reevaluate the things you do. Do you feel like you're catching Carolina at a good time just with the fact she's going to have a pretty brutal loss in her last fight getting finished in the first round? You know, I, I would say so, but the thing is, um, you, you learn a lot about a person by the way that they, they deal with loss. And, you know, after studying a lot of Carolina's tape, um, she every time she has lost, she's come back better and stronger. So I'm expecting a better, stronger Carolina um, after this knockout that happened to her. You said that you wanted to be the first champion who was a mom. Yes. Have you talked to your daughter about this? And what does she think about mom who is a <laughs> Yeah, my daughter, you know, she's a huge part of our camp, and um, yeah, she knows my goals, and um, I guess to her, you know, I'm already champion, so uh, anything extra is just extra credit, uh, but yeah, she's, uh, she, she, she's always with us, and she would, she would be here right now if she could, but she has school, and she has to sell Girl Scout cookies at home, so she has her hands full right now. <laughs> I can't have any, <laughs> but I, I, I make them eat it in front of me and describe the tastes of it. <laughs> I, I have snuck one. Yeah, I have snuck one. I like the Samoas. Those are my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, um, I will never um, close any doors that present good opportunity. Um, but I, I do feel like being able to fight at 115 gives me the opportunity to spend more time on my technique, more time on um, my game plan rather than on my diet and cutting weight and adding extra miles to my training camp. I'd rather, I'd rather spend more time doing technique and sparring than, than um, doing road work. But if the opportunity presented itself and I couldn't turn it down, um, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say no. So. For for sure, Diego. I mean, Diego's just um, he. Diego's is just special. Like he, you know, he. Uh, I feel like has has hit a point in his life where he kind of just um, is doing it again because he loves it and. Um, by him not having to cut the weight, he's in, he's able to really enjoy the process of it, and I think that's why he's having such great success. Is that the same for you though, like being a straw weight versus you know Adam weight? Yeah, the last time I cut to Adam weight, um, the the doctor um, that was checking my pulse couldn't find it for an hour. So I mean, it's dangerous, you know, and and uh, your fight career is is uh, short lived anyways. You might as well do it in a healthy way. So. Like I said, if it it would it would it would have to be worth my while to go back to 105. But I mean, they can make it worth my while. <laughs> it's been pretty well documented the split with Donald Cowboy Simone in your camp. But yeah. Were you impacted by that at all? Just with some of the you know teammates that have left and everything else? Uh, you know, I think it it's it's hard because you know we're all friends. We, we we've built friendships throughout the years. I've known Donald forever. He's the one that brought me into Jackson's. Um, before I even moved out to Albuquerque, um, but the truth is, I'm still friends with him, you know. And and the coaches, they're father figures to me, they're mentors to me. So so I stay neutral. I'm friends with for, with everybody, and and I wish everybody the best. But it has not affected me. The the gym is is, is still running, and um, there's good camaraderie amongst um, my, me and my teammates and my coaches. And and yeah, we're we're having a good camp. And I'm sure you keep an eye at the top of the division. Rose Namie is fighting Jessica Andrade for the title. How do you see that fight playing out? Do you think you guys think so? Um, I, it's pretty interesting. It's uh, you know, I, I think Rose is just in a different place mentally when she does decide to to, to fight, and um, so she's very, um, very has a very good strong mental game, and um, she has the reach, she has the creativity to to pick her shots and and keep Andrade away. Um, now I, I think the the determining factor is if Andrade will be able to break that initial barrier, get in close, and um, get the body clinch and do that do those amazing uh, wrestling takedowns that she's so so good at I think that's going to be the determining factor who you know and if Rose can keep her out for five rounds and it's a five round fight so that's pretty exhausting keeping somebody out for that long but Ioana did it so with a victory over if you win if you did, uh, defeat Carolina are you expecting or demanding a title shot or I'm not demanding anything. Um, I just I have a goal to, to, to fight for the belt, and um, whatever I have to do to get there is is what I'd like to do. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, well, we're we're always training, you know, even on off camp. Yeah, we're, we're six days a week, uh, three to five times a day and 24-7 um, mentally, you know, so, but you gotta have one day for rest. It's important. Mm -hmm. Do you think it went over Carly to get some title shots up? I would say so, if um, looking at the division, I know um, there are some other girls that are on the horizon. Um, Tat the, the ones that come to mind are Tatiana and Nina, you know, um, and uh, so uh, between those two ladies, and myself and Carolina, because Carolina has fought, you know, everybody already. Um, so I think just within that mix, um, something something nice can happen. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys. Very, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> you like it? You like it? Okay, we'll get